let me tell you something. We here today with an NBA basketball player, a rapper, a movie star, an entrepreneur, and a motivation for the thugs. I'm talking about somebody that took a $10,000 life insurance policy and turned it into $250 million. Can you do that? He got problems with his son and he came to address these allegations because somebody lying. This my dog, Master P. What's up, homie? Man, it's all love, man. We here today, man. Yes, and man. I want to talk about some real shit. How you feel today, man? I'm alive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I come from the street. I done been through all kind of stuff, homie. You know what I'm saying? I done been shot at, almost killed. I made a way out to my family, moved them out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. My whole thing is, man, somebody got to suffer for success. Yeah. And if you succeed in without suffering, somebody suffer for you. Yeah. A lot of people look at it the wrong way, man. People got to understand that success comes with suffering. They go hand in hand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you, we watch your story. We watch, we watch you come out the trunk of the car. We watch you come from New Orleans and take it across the globe, yeah. across the world. We yeah. watch you, you know, put your family in position. You get what I'm saying? What the thing is, what I want y'all to know today, it's not about talking or gossiping up. Because think about when people look at the internet, like we grown now. Right. We not on the internet. Mm -hmm. But our kids could say stuff. If they think about it, when this whole thing came out with my son, it's crazy because I'm like, how would you do this to me? Right. I got dudes in the streets. I done laid up under killers and everything. They wouldn't do this to me. No. So it's like, that's the part that hurt. But I understand his pain too. And I'm not perfect. Right. But, you know, in this situation, I'm not wrong. So I don't no. know. I'm not going to even accept that because the internet will take it and run with it. And that's the only reason that I came on social media, homie. It was after my son put up a post of right. And I'm like, damn, bro, this is about to be Christmas time. Like, why would you do this to me? You see what I'm saying? After all what I've done. So if I died in that project, we never would have made it. If I'd have went to the penitentiary, think about it. So but I'm going to be honest with y'all. Me and my dad. We, even if we don't see eye to eye, he always gonna win because he put me in this world. Right. That's, that's right. why I was raised. Right. You know what I'm he saying? He the foundation. He the foundation. Without him, I wouldn't be here. So I'd always be like, thank you, Dad. You know, like, I'm here. I appreciate you, bro. Right. Bro, this is, this is heartbreaking because you gotta talk about this. But you know, we gotta, I think this is how God using this for us being from the streets to be, because think about it, I'm not the only one going through this. I'm Every, going through it. But with my what, daughters. Yeah, but I, <laughs> with they, my daughters. But think about it, people be afraid to talk about it. Even my right. own homies. Let me tell you something. My own homies say they seen this years ago, but they're like, well, P, that's your business, you know, with your family. I don't want to get in the middle of right, it. Right. But I always tell them, man, be true for me. Tell me the truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so, so the thing is, people could be around you, but not listening and not learning. Ever since I've been in the game, everything that I've done, I done feel that so many things, bro. But I never sit around and say, I have nothing. I tell everybody that follow me, never say you broke. So if you around me, think about it, because life go up and down. How many times you done stumbled and fell and got back up? Let's be honest. Now, if I didn't get back up, it wouldn't be nothing for the family. So that's what I'm saying. You got to have a strong mindset to understand this. Right. And everybody don't have that because I can't think out of emotions and when I get mad, or, but I got to deal with reality. Right. So think about a lot of stuff that people want to throw at you and talk crazy. So think about Hollywood. I really don't like Hollywood. You don't see me doing That's why I say product always tell. And so I want to teach people out there that want to get to Hollywood and think that, oh, it's all glitter and glam. You just, uh, what was the girl just came out, uh, Fantasia? Fantasia. Say she don't make the money that y'all think she make. Right. Think about it. How many records did Fantasia sell? Millions. That's what I'm saying. Millions. She sold millions, right? But she just a rich lady. Yeah, but think about it though. So the, the whole thing about Hollywood is to get to Hollywood and then get something else going. Right. So I would think that my son would see that instead of doing this, we get to Hollywood, that was the small piece of it. So now I got people running around, oh, P. Well, you ain't take care of yourself. How you know that? Let's be honest. So I'm gonna go back, let's go back, I'm gonna give you a teachable moment, right? If I didn't take care of my son and he'd been around for 30 some years, you don't think that he would have been in this? Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Like this kid is smart, bro. You, you know like, what? You write about what you're saying, but you know what the problem is? When you laid out what you did, a foundation. Yeah. You laid a foundation 
that he could stand on. And you was always there. You just showed that he could stand on. We together. But he got spoiled. Yeah. And entitled. Yeah. And felt like daddy always was the one that did it, so daddy gonna do it. But think about this. Who could I blame at 33 years old? Y'all wouldn't even, y'all wouldn't even, if that would have been me and I just fell off, y'all just would have been laughing like, oh, okay, he done. Think about it. So, so if you could do that that long in life and, and, and destroy everything that we have instead of coming to me, bro, I know I'm a street dude. I know I scream and holler sometimes. Think about it. But I do it out of love because it, it took a bunch of my kids away on a bad direction. So y'all don't know that. Y'all don't see. Me and Snoop talked about this. I, all our kids done went left. Right. But, man, we, I, didn't, I didn't went through this with my daughter. But I could be truthful with it because think about some of the things people say. I just I done slept under people's houses ready to go light it off. Right. Think about it. Right. Then I wouldn't come back home. Man, my son came up with all this stuff. They did the same thing for my brother. When my brother died, my family was going to say, oh, let's change this. Let's talk about how good of a person. No. My brother was a hustler. Right. He, he, he went to school, he played basketball with his hustle, so I had to get a rest of the family the hard truth that people didn't want to deal with. Say, look, man, how are we going to break this? Then I got to do something to break this negative curses and cycles that we have. But if I laid under the thing, and be, even with my daughter, if I say, everything that happened to my daughter was a church. This didn't happen overnight. This happened nine years ago. We've been struggling with this, bro. Like, think about it. So... None of my kids have been in these bad places I done been. Mm-mm. I done had to deal with people that I know what these people own. Even the boyfriend. The boyfriend was on drugs too. But my son won't make it all about the boyfriend. So, you know, I'm sleeping in my house. I'm thinking, man, well, I got to go. And then my cousin, he, he did 22 years. He thinking, man, we need to get the boyfriend. And I'm like, man, I thought about this. I said, man, look, this was a church of my daughter. Right. This couldn't last that long. Keep doing it. Right. And then fentanyl is like, bro, like, let's be real. That's a little serious. piece of it, yeah. you out of here. For real, though. And so my thing is, I said, I don't grieve like everybody else. I hurt, but my kids ain't going to tell me how to grieve, homie. Can't but, nobody tell you how to get mad and how to grieve. That's, and not just that, when we were coming out hustling, we didn't have fentanyl. No. We had two substances that we sold yeah. that hard and that soft. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And we might, and they might have that boy, yeah. but we ain't even met with that. I mean, I dealt with y'all. Yeah. 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 But, well, but we think about it though, right? We had junkies, alcoholics, everything in our family, but we knew it and we, we recognized it and we talked about it as right. a family. Right. Think about it. This generation want to hide it. They go on social media. They were over. Oh, my daddy scream at me. He he, he won't take uh, his granddaughter. He don't like, like man, let me tell you, so I got 30 something year old girls. If, if I tell them something, you don't want to listen, then you got to go stay with your mama. I'm not putting you out of my house. You going with your mama that's right. staying in the house that I'm paying for. Think about it. So you never get, you really privileged because you never get put out. They got homeless people. You look at all the things that's going on, man, how people just talking and talking, but they don't really know the truth. So let me break the truth down for you. How much you think Tyler Perry pay actors and actresses? Ooh. This, I mean, be honest. How Millions. much you think? Millions. See, you're wrong. Tyler Perry, go look at, put, Google this, y'all. Tyler Perry actors get 60 some thousand dollars. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So if Tyler Perry make $280 million off a project, that's his money. Right. You signed up for the $60,000. I don't care how long it is. That's all you're going to get. That's what you signed for. That's what you signed for. Okay. And ain't nobody that. made them sign nothing. No. Right. So think about it. Now the difference is Hollywood won't break me down because I'm an independent dude and I don't need them. Think about it. So now, what do you think you make on the Nickelodeon show? Because if my son said he made $50 million. No, they don't pay like that. <laughs> what do you think they pay? What, Juggie, Google the highest paid star on Nickelodeon. That's anybody can do that. The journalists can do this too if they really, because this is how we got to educate our people. Because everybody want to get to Hollywood. Watch this. Love and Hip Hop came to me last year. And they offered me, you ain't going to believe it. They said I would be the highest paid on Love and Hip Hop Miami. They say we'll give you thirty thousand dollars. I say, what the fuck is thirty thousand dollars? I make fifty to sixty thousand a month. See what I'm saying? What I'm gonna do with thirty thousand dollars for a, a season? Okay. Oh, you gonna get exposure? Yeah. Oh, you gonna get? I don't want no exposure. I gotta I take care of my family. See? So think about. I can't take care of my family off of no Hollywood salary. I've always been an entrepreneur. I don't care about fall off. I've never been broke. Ain't never gonna be broke. I ain't. Cause never. broke is a state of mind, dog. That's right. So think about. It. I'm a billionaire. I'm on my way to it. Think about it. 
I done lost millions. I ain't mad at nobody. And took care of people. I'm still taking care of because people say, well, why are you going in the hood? Taking? I've been doing that for 24 years. I think I'm going to stop because my son angry and upset and he leeching out. Man, mental illness is real. I can pray for him, but the business ain't going to be the same because you didn't expose a whole bunch of stuff that don't need to be exposed because right. it's not really no exposure. That's what I want to ask you. Hold if, on, I want to get this. How much is the highest paid? All right, so the, the, the highest paid... Nickelodeon star Ariana Grande. She worth about 150 million. But how she started? She started out musical when she was 13. She quickly parlayed her success to TV, but she was cast on the Nickelodeon show with Taurus as Cat Valentine. However, Grande didn't make a fortune on Nickelodeon. TMZ uncovered that she only made 9,000 episodes. Wow. And what year was that? Uh, 2008. 2009, my son was on Nickelodeon at 2003 to 2006, and we shot the show in Canada. So if you shoot a show in Canada, that means you're going for tax breaks. Yeah. Now, it's not yeah. a, so I just want to educate the people to yeah. that, right? So back then, the Olsen twins made $2,400 per episode. So I'm just saying, she made $9,000. My son probably made $5,000 an episode, right? Right. No, let's say $10,000. He had 53 episodes. 53 episodes times 10,000. I'll give him an extra thousand. How much is that, Jay? Huh? 530,000. Half a million. A little bit over. Half a million. From 20, 2003 to 2006. Now think about that. Now you got to pay taxes on it? Oh, yeah. So that, think about okay, it. Okay. I mean, you got to pay okay. taxes. But if you won't pay my taxes, like, so I had a tax problem. Think about it. I had a tax problem that I paid and everybody running on the internet said, my son used his money to pay your taxes. No, how you gonna pay my taxes if you only made, and you ain't even making, my tax problem was in 2004. I would have been gone. Damn. He went from 2003 to 2006 to get five hundred. So if, if if he was making 15 an episode, say for instance, if it was 15 episodes a year, so two episodes, that would be 2003 to 2004. How much? Times 10. And that's a high number. I'm going to just say it. 150. My taxes worth millions of dollars. That's what I'm saying. All y'all don't get it, y'all, because y'all ain't doing it because all y'all see somebody on TV. So think about it. At this time, you got 150. My taxes is millions. Y'all know that was the biggest thing. Oh, everybody laughed at Master P over what he done. But look how God worked. You got to give something up. Right. That's what I gave up. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. But that's what I gave up for my family. Because if I would went to jail, what would, would they be? None of them. They would have been back in the ghetto. Instead so of me holding on to the house with the gold ceilings and all, I gave it to the people. Man. Let's how be I'm living. BET, how I'm living. Think about it. Cribs. MTV, because I started that. But guess what I said? Okay, y'all want it? Take it. Not just that, you the first one to put their family on outside the Wayne brothers. Yeah. Before that, yeah. you put your brothers well, on, you put family well, but think about on. it, even my brothers right now, think about it. My son going to my brothers and all this stuff, but man, let me tell you, so me and my brother said, look, even with C, C put himself in jail. You know how many people mad with me? Because they think C, like I stopped, man, I got C out of jail so many times, and even when I was dealing with them tax situations, think about it. I'm sending money to somebody that's ungrateful and mad at me, and I still love them. Man, I knocked some off behind C. But, you, but, but why but, did it? No, but listen. Listen to this. And Silk, me and Silk got it. Me and Silk don't see eye to eye sometimes. But we family, we keep our business where it's at because we get through it. Silk a hustler. Yeah, yeah. Silk right. always have some money. Absolutely. Think about it. Even though family don't get together. So think about it. Even with my mom. My mom left me as a kid and went off because her and my dad wasn't getting together. Mm. Me and my brother went to go live with my grandparents. Guess what? When my mom came back from Chicago, who was she staying with? She started, you know, I done made it now. I got her a house in Texas. Right. Then when she ain't want to stay on her own, she go stay with my sister G. Then she go stay with Silk. Then she stay with me. Think about it. That's love. You don't turn your back on your no. family members or you don't expose your business. What no. you going to do? So if you hurt me, you can't pay these back. I just told y'all. So y'all thought that Romeo paid my tax. I just told y'all, like on a high level. Right? So he just got the educated. He could have came to me and asked Like that. a player. So, but the thing about this, homie, 
So all that time what y'all don't know, I'm having trouble. I put the money in one pot. Mm. Think about it. I put the money in one pot. Everybody constantly taking out the pot. Because I can't even do nothing with my money. Dang. Think about it. If you're a street dude, you understand. Right. So now the pot keep boop, 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 boop. Yo, you 30 something years old now, but you don't even want to listen to me. You tell me I want to do my own thing. I get a text because I'm thinking all this stuff about my daughter. I'm already messed up. But you know, kids play games because they know we ain't going to get on social media. So I'm like, okay, when I was in the streets, I was the best I could be in the streets. When I got into corporate America, I'm the best I could be. That's why I say product outweighs town. Mm. And I go on social media. Look at all my posts. I never say nothing negative about my kids, my no. son, none of that. Think about it. all the time is positive. Why are you going to mess that up just because you ain't even upset when you can come to the house? Unless you got other alternatives, you're running with the wrong people. They're not telling you the truth. I know what it is. It's entitlement and it's the mom. The mom. He yeah. said mama was right. So well, but he, how mama was right? Well, think about it. Mama living with her boyfriend in a house I'm paying for. But I love her that much that I don't even want her not to be happy. Be happy. I'm taking care of both of y'all. Now, would you do that? Let's be honest. That's, that's how I realize I'm, I'm taking care of both of y'all. I'm doing Get it because, ass, I, man, look, I'm cool. Y'all can stay in here. Get the fuck. <laughs> Get out. Look. Get out. Look. But that ain't me because my heart really, because I love this woman because she had my kids. Right. But what I told her is, let me tell you something. And I never, something you got to be truthful with your kid. I stopped messing with his mama when I was in Richmond. That's a long time. Mm. I didn't want the lifestyle that she living, not saying nothing wrong about her, but even the people she around. I didn't want that. I, don't, I ain't into what they into. Right. So I'm like, I ain't mad at you. You got to go live your life. Right. But that's how, that's how I end up having my daughter. I'm not perfect. I'm telling y'all. No. Nobody. So what, what you don't want me to do? So think about it. My dad got kids outside my mom. Right. My sister had that same problem. But she a G now because she like, you know, I can't do nothing about that because now she got her own kid. Think about it. Then her old man got outside kids. So you got to look at, but for me, dog, when I was in a project, all the kids that I messed with their mama, I still call them my kids. Some of them bad, some of them been in jail for murder. Oh, man, I'm still, if they mama called me right now, I need a uh, 10,000 out here, here you go. So think about it. Even if Roman y'all call me right now and say, look, dad, I need this. We ain't about to You're do business no more. I'm gonna be there. But you but waste your real on fake people. Yeah. You waste your real. Yeah. They ran over your heart. Yeah. See, they knew you had a big heart. Man, let me tell you, I only been jacked by my family. I, I ain't mm -hmm. never been jacked by nobody else. I swear. My cousin here, he'll tell you, ain't nobody else. I done did it with Bill Brown, the worst of the work. I got jacked by my auntie. Think about it. I had a, I'm the only black person in New Orleans with a building on Canal Street, right? But I put it in her name. But let me show you this. Look how I go at work. I put it in her name. They jacked me out the building. And then guess what happened? Hurricane Katrina came. Because all she was telling me, this is my building, this is in my name. I said, okay, cool. Hurricane Katrina came, washed it away. Guess what they come and look? Now, if you help me, you know, I didn't have insurance on the building. I said, well, look, this is what I'm going to tell y'all. All I can do is pray for y'all. Right. Because y'all, like, like, think about it. Even all my other family members. So now, Roman, you're going to get with all my family members that don't like me. Right. That want me for money. Like, all they do, oh, I love you if I say, I'm going to give you something. Bro, but if I don't give you nothing. You ain't no ATM machine. Dog, I ain't never gonna be that because then I got a heart too. All I really want is love from my family. I wanna see them happy. So if I get something, I'm giving them everything I got. But when you say they come together, the enemy of my enemy becomes my friend. Yeah. So what they doing is they utilize, they ganging up. They can't take you up one on one. No. So they gotta get together. That's why he you he named Man, drugs. the streets couldn't it's take losing me. that now. The street couldn't take me. Yeah. They can't you think I'm gonna do this with my son? Let me tell you what they told me, right? Why you go give back to the community? It didn't, didn't say, no, my, all my kids that are disobedient right. is good. Right. Say, let me tell you something. After I was up on top and then I stumbled a little bit, think about it. Then my younger kids came up. But right. I, I'll be honest with y'all, I don't even know how to raise girls, but the mama wouldn't do what I say do. Think about it. So I'm telling the mama, like you got to let me. I want to teach my daughters how to how to how to be women and how a man should treat you. Oh, they they just need this and that. I'm like, no, they don't need that. Especially if they got a boyfriend. Because when I was with you, my, let me tell you, what my grandmother did. Romeo was in a project with me when he was one years old, mm -hmm. and I left. We left out the project after that, so he never seen the real or none of that, right? 
I'm in a project with my grandmother. My grandmother found out, you know, I'm doing my thing. I got a girl in the house. <laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. My grandmother come in there, cut the lights on. Look at here, little nigga. Ain't nobody slinging no dick in here but Big Daddy, because he's the only one paying bills. Bill. Right. After that, I I know I had to leave. Mm. Now I got a kid. I got to get out of these people's house. Because now I got a child. And I got to take full responsibility. I'm number 18. Mm. A kid with a kid. Think about it. <laughs> but I took responsibility, and that's what I still came back when I made it, brought my grandmother two houses while she was living. I still help everybody in the family. Some people not gonna help everybody because they got that kingpin mentality. Right. They don't care about us. No. So think about it. Then, then people laughing. Romeo put up the thing about the rap snacks. So how could you do all that? But, but anyway, this is gonna be a teachable moment. Right. Rap snack was created with my partner James. Right. James. Right? So think about this. Rap snacks was a promotional bag for Universal. Right. So go look at this. It was a promotion. Nobody made money. So I'm just saying, think about it. People go and look back. Romeo put up the little video. But man, come on, bro. James didn't want you on the bag. No. J James came to me saying, P me and James almost fought, dog. We were almost actually fought because James said, I want, I want you on the bag. You the hottest right. I say, but think about it. At the time, I said, James, I don't need to be on the bag. I got my son. I want to put him on the bag. Mm. And James said, sacrifice. I sacrifice. And guess what? Look how it came back to bite me. But we, we at Rap Snacks, we ain't make no money for years. Think about you. you I believe that. No, people You're going against Rage. You're going against the Ritos. Bro, we ain't make no money for years. Like, we that. just started making money. I James, just with that, when Romeo was a kid, he never signed no deal with, with, with Rap Snacks. So, this thing I kept told, I told you way back before the interview, I said, I put all the money in one pot. So, you constantly taking out the pot. You constantly taking out the pie. Then I'm saying, if you're going to tell, think about it. Miami is a bottle popping place if you're a young young man. Yeah. California is a bottle popping city if you if you're a young man. Chicago, you spending how much when you go in the club popping bottles with all your friends and the bottle service and all that? How much you spend? I'm spend about five, <laughs> at least a thousand to five thousand a night messing okay. around with that. Well, some yeah. of the bottles even spend more than that. Yeah, yeah. I've seen some tabs. Think about it. Yeah. And then even your friends and all this stuff. Man, money don't last. So this is no. what I realized. My money, I got to pay back to people. Other people's money, they have. They don't have to pay back. Think about it. Now, do you understand that? Every time I give somebody something out, oh, this it's free money. Like I got a, a I got a bag with a hole in it. it it's go and then right, I gotta right, figure right, out, right. I gotta figure out how to go get it back. Everybody not responsible. No. His mama get mad with me because I've been paying her bills for over twenty some years. Mm. Think about it. But I can't give her the money no more because she not gonna pay the bill. If you got a lady that you ain't been with, it that's this life. That's real life. So think about. It. So we already touched the point. But <laughs> and then think about it. James, my dude, he don't want to get in family business. He don't want to say that, but it's the truth. So think about it. even if you were my partner, I can't talk about your son. You know, but you could you, you either part of the problem or part of the solution. Right. So right. Like, a lot, even my family members, I tell my kids, I say, sit back in silence. But look, think about it. I told y'all, my kids that's obedience, they got bread. The ones that's disobedient, they ain't got nothing because they don't want nothing. They don't want nothing. They not even looking at the big picture. They looking at the money. Because it ain't about the money. No meaning. I'm like, educating the world. Right, right. So that's why we use it as an educational moment. We're right. not bashing nobody. No, 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 no. I want people to know because they're gonna say they going through it. They got other family members going through it. They got basketball players, moms and dads that's going through it. Think about it. Yeah. So that entitlement thing is for what? Think about it. Even when Romeo put the little post up here on BT, how did he get the BT? How did he get the bag at 12 years old? Like, I'm just saying, to get on a potato chip Daddy. bag. You wasn't thinking of no. Me and James went to every factory. That's how I'm able to build other products now. We went to all these factories. But then, you know, then somebody say, pay Romeo his money. What money? Okay. Oh, you know he sold oh, 10 million records. How? I don't know. I'm just saying, that's what, that's what my family <laughs> said. My family's saying that. All I'm saying is, y'all Google it. No, it's impossible. I know Bow Wow sold 10 million records. And guess what? He don't even have nothing. No. So even if you sold 10 million records, like who Bow Wow could be mad at if he sold 10 million? Did Bow Wow sell 10 million records? Google it. <clears throat>
Damn. See, but this is an educational thing yeah. because they throw us against us. But maybe may our kids stop and stop hanging with the wrong people and just come home and get that game. I lost over 10 million calories and 14 million dinner. Damn. And guess what? Bow Wow still complaining. Right? How many, how many did Romeo yourself? No, I want you to know. How many you think? Man, I don't want to be. No, you need to be real. Like that's see, that's what people. Honestly, the truth, yeah. Under a million. Okay. So, How many hours? No, I'm saying. So think about it. If it's under a million for no limit, you, you know that's a failure, right? Yeah, if it's, if for the budget they gave you. For you the, in the red. Now. Yeah, I'm in the red. Cause think about it. Back then we spent millions on video. Yeah. Facts. That's true. Think about it. We spent millions on video, but this is my son. Even that song. Remember the Michael Jackson song? Yeah. I got no publishing, nothing on that. Michael Jackson got everything. Nobody ever had a Michael Jackson sample. sample. No. So we made no money. That was promotional. Think about it. That's promotional. So that's what I'm saying. I know y'all want to be in this game. You really don't. Because y'all think y'all going to get rich because y'all from the hood. So think about it. How, how, many, how many records is it, Chuck? 99,000 in the first week. 99,000 in the first week, and that was 2001, right? But see, that's bad back then. In 2001, 99,000 per week, how, how many till a day, till today? 96,000 in 02, 56,000 in 04. Today, 300,000 copies. No, today, today, today that sold 300, no, it gotta be 500,000. Today, it sold 500,000. I know it went gold, because you get the certified thing. It's How many albums he put out? I mean, he put a lot, but I mean, maybe about three albums or so. How many albums he put out? So the main album went gold, right? That's five hundred thousand copies. Because we got the certified, you got to get the certified thing. We got the certified letter on that. Okay, well, three albums: No Romeo, O One, Game Time, O Two, Romeo Land. Okay, how many both of those? How all those albums sell? See, 500,000 gold for Lil Romeo, which I, I know. It's, but you get the certified thing when it goes. But down. nobody ain't thinking about the budget you got to put up. Oh, no, the feed, no, no. The cows, the... the so they, then he said this. I well, want to say this. Yeah. He said we grew up in the same house. You know how I many people dream to grow up in the same house? That means you were taking care of business. Yeah. But, but, you know how I many times I moved trying to be Nino Brown? Yeah. I had to move. My daughter said, damn, I just made friends over here. Hey, yeah. I ain't got it. Yeah. I got to move. Yeah. I ain't mad. Hey, hey, look, you could be mad at me. Oh, I'm dead in. But think about it, though. You a street dude, and you know you got to do what you got to do. See? And think about it, your family. But I'm just saying, what we talking about now, hopefully this will help save and change right. their life. Right. That people just want to go to Hollywood and think they going to get rich. No. So think about it. How could you... All the stuff you so think about this. I've been educating y'all on what to do with y'all money. Get a business, get an LLC, get a big car, a car over six thousand pounds, so you can write it off on your LLC. My son been driving Maserati, all kind of small cars. You can't even write that stuff, so that means you're not listening to me. Cause you know at a certain age, kids get to they want to do whatever they want to do. Think about it. The other people listening. I know people around. Man, I'm a millionaire, brother. Listening to you, thinking about what you got, man. I would never fall off because I have a plan. Right. And even if it looks like a struggle at times of why I'm doing what I'm doing, you could just pull me over and ask me instead of get out there and tear the family down because then how you going to take care of the family, especially if you're going off the path? Because let me tell y'all something about Hollywood. I done sent in so many meetings. That's why I don't like Hollywood. They offer you all these big old deals telling you what they're going to give you, right. and then it don't happen. Then what you gotta do? Now you might jump the gun and say something crazy to somebody. Cause my son called me like, like right after my daughter died. I know he was mixing it up with people and doing this thing. He said, Dad, I don't wanna do nothing but the water with you. Uh, and, I, and I got the text, I say, son, what you mean? He said, I don't wanna be no part of the family business. I wanna go and do my own thing. So now you get these agents and all these different people. They tell you, you don't need to be under your dad. You got to show you grown. Bro, I'm always under my dad. My, my daddy don't. My daddy called me right now. Look, man, send me something, do this here. I'm doing it. Yeah. Because we got that kind of relationship. It's not about money. And if it weren't for him, you wouldn't even be here. I wouldn't be here. Yeah, he so he could have it all. But I'm just saying, my son can have it all. But then I got to think about all the rest of the kids now. If you got a selfish attitude 
And you showed that. Because you did everything that tears down and then now you got me even when I go out here and do stuff for people in the community, they, they acting like, well, P, why are you doing this? Bro, I can't do this to stop this for these kids. I've been doing this. This is where I come from. Like, so who gonna do it? If my son tell me, man, you don't worry about the, taking care of the people in the community. So I'm like, what? So you won't do it? Go do it. I, one, of, one of my people told me, man, bro, you be doing all this stuff. People don't want to get up in the morning with you. People don't want to stay up late at night with you. Everybody got 24 hours. Some people want to just go have their fun and they're young, and that's cool. Think about it. I ain't perfect. Right. When, when I was out there chasing, but let me tell you something. And doing what I had to do, none of us, we men. You might see something nice you want to, but that's what, that ain't going to stop me from the next day from doing no. what I got to do. No. I ain't about to lay down. Mm -hmm. Then then I got myself together, dog, to be honest with you. You know what, God? I can't be no devil-minded man. I got to go get my life together. And that's what I've been doing. When I've been sitting down with my son before this, right? Bible scriptures telling me all this stuff, but you're supposed to forgive. Right. Let's be honest with you. Right. Everything about me has been judged, man. Think about you supposed to do this and you ain't that, you ain't, you know, I'm like, man, is you serious? But you know what? Your success taking shots at you. Yeah. A lot of the things you did in life and became so successful and so fruitful, you became the tree and grew fruit. And I want to say this on that last part. A man, it's in the Bible, a man that is given a castle, a man that builds his castle is richer than a man that's given his castle. Yeah. You know how to put the window back. Yeah. You know how to put yeah. the door back. He don't know how to do that. So when you say, hey man, I'll give you this and do that, don't give nobody shit that don't deserve and don't earn. You making an entitled beast. Yeah. Because well, now he gonna feel like the world owe him something when yeah, you ain't around. You know what, to be honest with you though, mm -hmm. what you gonna do when I'm gone? Cause See? this could have killed See? me. Think about it. Heart attack. Stress. I don't know. Like, no, what I'm saying if he all you get this news and like, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. So people on we social media. We ain't no spring chicken. No, no more. but social media right. people don't even look at how this started. Right. This started about the DJ and, and me posting R.I.P. to to the Twitch. Team. Yeah. Yeah. The dancing dude. Yeah, but think about it. So because my daughter died, I can't even say R.I.P. You can't to nobody. even express to nobody. You supposed to just care about family. That's crazy. And so, but think about it, but what hurt me the most, it changed from that to a whole money thing. So how can I trust you? How could any other business person gonna wanna trust you? Think about it. That's why I wanna ask you, if, if you forgive him, if he yeah. come to me and say, Dad, but, look, I fucked up. No, he would you, right forgive, but that's my son. But let me ask you this. What? Would you forgive him without holding the grudge? Yeah, cause he's my son. Okay. Think about it. I like what Charleston White said. He stood up because he know everybody. You stood up. Y'all probably got kids, so y'all know. People don't really do see the, the behind the scenes. No. Right? People don't really see that. So, man, people hide that. Right. It's almost like what my shirt said, you alone. People hide mental illness. Nobody want to say they're going through it. But, but if you're going to say you're a strong person, you got to stand on you what you're doing. You got to stand on that. Especially if you're going to bring the empire down. So you got to have something else. So, man, think about this, right? Anything my son asked me to do, I did so we was on the show growing up hip hop. You was executive producer. You was getting braided on that end. You was talent. You was telling the people what to do. Then when you got tired, know what, know what I did? You said, man, I'm gonna be on this. This, they have no integrity or none of this stuff, right? That's what I do. I went to the people that I'm doing business with. I, I stopped myself from getting a check. Well, that's with him, because he said, he, you go look on the Charlemagne show. He talked and he defended, right? Right. Think about it. Why people, like, why could you go back to that? Then you bring my daughters, and you say they ain't got nothing. You bring them back on this show that's supposed to be trash. That you uh -huh. asked me to take you off. Now you back on it. And now you're going to do something about my daughter on this show without me and the mom? Think about it, bro. You got to change your mindset. You are not the kid's daddy. You got your own two kids. What happens when your girls get older and they do this to you? No, it's going to come. Think about it. No, it's coming. So I'm like, you break the family. Curse. Now. Yeah, but this has oh, break it down. We're break breaking it, it the down. Empire. The one so, who feeding the family. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just think about it. I'm not perfect. So let's talk about attachments and connections. You got attach attachments feed off you, connections feed you. Yeah. You a connection. You understand me? You the colonel, yeah. and he got to play his position and stop being attached. Yeah. And he doing it the wrong way. Instead well, of saying, Daddy, look, I want to do my own yeah, thing. Yeah, but then he think he said you pay other people. No, man. These people love me. They ain't even kidding me. Right. I could go. You, you see, Juggy around. Juggy was around me and my son. 
when we did his crib, he was around. Dog, you spending money. That kid had Frank Miller watches. He had cars. He had all kind of stuff, man. No, they ain't they, they like the internet can't pull this up. Right. But they don't want to pull up because really they want to bring me down. I get it. But y'all not going to bring me down. Let me, let me be honest with y'all. I got real people that love me. So my cousin home, my cousin Jimbo, he did 22 years. Right. This is not about money. It's about, he, he was heartbroken behind me. Jay Tweezy called me. He heartbroken behind us. James called me. He heartbroken behind me. My dog King Roy, he dog, he 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 heartbroken behind this. You know what I'm saying? Gangster. He heartbroken behind this. Rizzo. Every because all these people done been through something with their own kids. Right. Or uh, even family members. Right. Think about it. They think I'm God, but nobody don't don't they, they, they say, tell me what we get this man. It's this happened to me during Christmas time. That's bro. fucked up too. Think about it. That's fucked up. It's supposed to be family. Man, it's <laughs> supposed to be us enjoying each other. But you other. know what it is? You so strong yeah. that the devil can't get to you. Nah. So what he do is he use his peop your people yeah. to turn against you. It's infiltration. Man. It's like the White House. Yeah. The only way they could get to the president is his own people turn. Yeah. So that's what he doing. But I'm, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm glad this happened mm -hmm. because, you know, now I know what to do with my money. I'm doing like Bill Gates. I'm giving all my money to Chad. Mm -hmm. Anything happened to me. No, and I don't want no funeral. I don't want to be like how Take All was. Everybody in this big of me. And I don't want to be how Nipsey Hussle was. Because think about it. There's a lot of fake love out there. Right. Nipsey Hussle didn't even go platinum when until he, he died. Until he died. You know, people sit around and talk about all the products and stuff. Bro, we went against some of the biggest companies in the world. They like, hid that. Think about it, the share room picked all this stuff up. Oh, he fighting with his dad. Wait, wait up. Oh, his daddy fighting with him. Where the Mayardis at? Where they at? <laughs> Whether you are not alone at. Yeah. <laughs> what what a, what a all Snoop cereal? Think about it. The Snoop Loops. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> Where they at? So think about it. Even we had to change our name from yeah. Snoop Loop to Snoop Cereal. That's enough controversy for them to put up. No, they didn't do that. They want to see us like, okay, they ain't even tripping on Rome. That's oh, what they, they don't get. They on the Snoop Loops? Yeah. I had to change the name. That. But that's what I'm saying. They ain't going to oh, show you that. Wow. Because you only going to see well, the my stuff that goes. saying that. I didn't know, you know that. what I'm saying? You're yeah. going to see what go viral okay. and the negativity going to go viral. This is how we destroy homes. We destroy the foundation. We destroy blacks. That's what I'm saying. We do so, it to each other. Strong, at one time, we was the strongest black family because they say, man, this man together. We, got, we dressed it like everything. They like, oh, we got to that. It's over. No, it's not over because I got other kids that I taught when we went through the rebuilding. So I want to tell y'all, we went through rebuilding. Right. The rebuilding process, my other son ain't getting no bikes. Cursing them, mercy, they ain't getting no, they, I mean, they ain't getting no cars. They got bikes. They rode their bikes to school. They understood what, what uh, pain is, what sacrifice. Right. You know what I'm saying? I told them, I said, you want to make it out? What if something happened to me? Stay your ass in the gym and get, but it's not gonna be on me. Mm. You, you really got a target on your back because of who I am. People ain't gonna thank you that good. Oh yeah, your daddy gave you some man. I taught my kids dedication, hard work, and consistency. So that's what this is, what we're teaching today. We're teaching consistency. Because everybody thinks it's about money. No. This is not about money. The reason why I'm where I'm at, man, I got a lot of money. I got a lot of money. <laughs> you know why? I ain't gonna never fall off. Never. Long as I'm alive, my family gonna eat. Even Romeo, he gonna eat. Catalogs alone, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and I'm grateful and humble. I realize what my biggest job is to be a servant. And think about it. I could have did this with anybody. I'm doing it with you, a dude from the street. Because I ain't giving nobody else. I ain't giving TMZ that. I ain't giving a shame. And I, respect I ain't that. giving none of that. Because yeah. think about it. I'm saying I'm gonna sit down with another black man, and then you was that's, even that's you was clear. even this tech. Because I wanna want you to shine. Yeah. Just like I want my kids to yeah, shine. Yeah. But so think about it. With my son, I just want to tell him this. I love you. If we can't do no business together, we can always be family because you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. And this 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 stuff is gone with me. It's over. I'm going back to work. You're going to see me helping kids all over the world like I've been doing before this. The I just week before Christmas this. thing. That's know? what I'm saying. But think about it. That's Even big. the people on social media, the, the ones, that the Generation X. That's mad with their parents. They're going to say, well, he's doing that. No, no, that was planned months ago. Right. Think about it. You can't just go to no school. No, you no, got to no, get approved no, no. through the police. No. You got to get approved through the school board. The city. The all city. Time. All this stuff. Because it's traffic. So think about it. I know the ones out there was laughing, but me and my family going to get over this. Right. I, I don't care if me and my son never do business ever again. But at least he know the truth. Since y'all laughed at me, y'all know the truth. Think about it. And it's love in this house, but you gotta want it. 
But I can't, if you don't want to listen, like I got another daughter, she don't listen to me. So think about it. Now Romeo gonna play with her mind, come with me and just guess what? You shouldn't do that. Because if you can't take care of the family, you just say you can't take care of the family. So why you gonna knock my hustle? I am the best hustler in the game. Ever. King, look at this, man. I'm a hustler. I'm a real hustler. Even when I'm not, I've been wounded so many times. I've been shot in the face, pop, and missed. That's how God got a bigger plan for me. You can't touch his anointing. Man, that's good. Let me tell you something. So, you know what's crazy? My son know the Bible. He know God because he took me to T.D. Jakes. In April, before my daughter died, I told T.D. Jakes, I used to be scared to go in church, all the stuff I said. I thought lightning was going to strike me. T.D. Jakes said, man, God forgive people that you do. I'm glad you're here. You know what I'm saying? And my son said all kinds of good things to T.D. Jakes about me. And then the next month, bam. And I know. Oh. The devil. Think about it. But this your dude, T. I flew out to Dallas with my son, bro. That's what's crazy about it. And you know, T.D. Jakes is one of those dudes. You should have sit uh, down with him and said, look, uh, man, what do you do when your family is not getting alone or, or have a disagreement? Because you're going to have, we got to agree to disagree as a family. And then we got to be able to figure this out in love. So think about it. I just want to let people know, y'all are never going to play with my family. Never. And you're never going to play with me. We're going to grow. We're going to get past this. I don't care if it takes five, ten years for Romeo to see how much I love him. That's on him because he did this. But my other kids, the ones that's disobedient, they're going to have to go do what they got to do. If they're over 18, they're going to have to go do what they got to do. Right. Now, if they're under 18, I'm going to be there and be the best parent I can be. But, got you got, but think about it. But if you're going to talk crazy to me, and not, cause I ain't going to let nobody in the street talk crazy to me. Don't bite the hand that feeds you either. But... Guess what? If you want to learn from me, stay there and be a student. Because right. I'm a, everybody that 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 know more than me. I'm a student. I'm like I'm like a sponge. Right. Let me figure this out. So I tell people all the time, we all got 24 hours. But if you don't want to go to school, you don't want to listen to the teaching. How you gonna learn? Damn. Even as a parent, I'm still learning as a parent. I even ask my kids for forgiveness. The, the internet gonna take it and twist it like, oh, well, he say if he. If he wrong, blah, blah, blah. Like no. The they undefeated. Yeah, they the Internet James undefeated. James said that they're undefeated. But so, guess what? So let me tell you what I did, though. Now, I'm looking at it. We still got to be able to survive, but I'm going to show the Internet in positive how we can change the anchor. I'm going to be on the Internet even more so. Now. Go ahead. Think about it. Like I got product to sell. <laughs> product don't talk back. Product don't get mad at product you. Product get money. That's what I'm saying. That's it. That's what I do. I get money. That's it. That's what I get money. I get plenty of money. I had to lose millions to get billions. That's why my so only ten thousand dollar life insurance policy made two hundred from billion. my grandfather. Who could? But I had to live. Man, my grandfather was put me on rice. Made me kneel on rice when I was out of line, doing something wrong. He put the belt on me. That's one thing that I, that I know that I didn't do right. I didn't discipline my kid, and I should have. Oh. Cause they, no, let me tell you something. So right. one of my daughters told me, you hit me, I'm going to call the police. So even when I was going through this with my other daughter before she passed, dog, I, you know I did what I did. Yeah, 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 boy, yeah. You, you know that. And then I snatched her. I snatched her. But Romeo called me to go handle this. So I'm about to go to jail now. They, they let her go. That's kidnapping and all this. No. And guess what happened? The mama did that to me. We're going to call the police for you. Now look what we had. We had a funeral. Wow. My cousin got out of jail. The last five years, he been fighting. I said, he about to go set it off. I said, cuz, this happened with my daddy. You can't go out there and hurt no man behind no mind. My daughter grown, right? She right. got a kid. My daddy, sister, called him to come handle her boyfriend. And when he got there, my daddy was about to get rid of him. My, my, his sister said, if you kill him, you got to kill me too. So that's when I start staying out of grown people and they got business, they got relationships and kids. Think about it. So if I would have went and did that, where would I be and where the rest of my kids would be at? Though? Right. So a lot of people don't understand Sacrifice. that. Sacrifice. No, but guess what? We get caught up into, well, I ain't going to get in here and show this and I ain't going to do this because it make you lesser than a man. Right. But how do we teach our people? Especially when somebody bashing you and you like just being quiet, taking the punches. Dog, if I get punched, I'm in the hood. I got to punch back. Right. But the only thing different with this, I'm doing this in love because I love this person. And they know that. Man, let me tell you something. My brother, I can't bring him back. My brother's son tell me he wished he was my son. He never seen his dad. 
He was in his mom's stomach when he when he when his dad died. And I've been taking care of him ever since he was a kid. And his mom dead now. So think about how long y'all think I got. That's why I say I don't want no funeral. Man, I don't want nobody to throw no dirt in my face and no fake love. I'm good. I don't need to be in a super dome. Because when I'm gone, I'm gone. <laughs> right. Think about it. Right. When I'm gone, I'm gone. Right. But they only salute you when you're dead or in jail anyway. They're going to buy everything. So give it to my kids that love me. <laughs> right. That's it. And the ones that got to get to love me and get to know me because they're going to buy it. That mean that my son been around me, but he don't really know me. Damn. And, and guess what? That could be my problem too, because when you letting kids sit down and play video games and do what they want to do and then get up and then, then go do whatever you need, you know what I'm saying? Work think about when my son was listening to me, he was successful. When you stop listening to people that want to help you, then you gotta go do it on your own. So you either gonna destroy this empire, and now you gotta go create your own. Which you could have had both. Damn. That's something to think about. Think about it. I mean, it's reality. The, the truth hurt, right? The truth hurt. But people don't want to deal with the truth. So that's why even the other people, I'm telling you, Generation X, they took this as a laughing thing. Man, he ain't taking care of his... But y'all ain't really did y'all research. They don't know the stuff. They don't know that we used to call him Masterpiece Son. That's yeah. the only way we knew him. Well, how, how could he get here without me? That's what I'm saying. But, but like, but as a dad, rapper, dude, that's Master P song. Dog, my Who grandmother, Master P song. My grandmother told yeah. me, right, get that kid out the car. If I didn't change my life, we wouldn't be here. Right. Both of us could have died in the Calio project. Right. And then all these hungry relatives that only look at me like an ATM machine, they never would have seen nothing. And even the artists that I have, think about it. Once they left me, they moved on. You can't get mad at me if you moved on with your life. So they look for anybody that's going to say something negative about me. Okay, let's group up. Cool. Dog, that was 20 years ago. Maybe 25 years ago. Man, I ain't been doing no music. I don't care about no music. Y'all should have went and found jobs and did something else for y'all Me and Snoop talked about this the other day. He said, man, you know the people that you can help the most, them the ones that hurt you the most. And like I said, right. dog, I told on, on, on uh, Gil King, I said, Romeo is my hero. And now it's my greatest sorrow, dog, because of, look what you do to me. And I still love you. But you know, Judas once ran with Jesus. Yeah, he did. So you got to be careful who you run with, because yeah. everybody who ride with you ain't riding So this is what you. I'm saying, though. They going to go this. My wife going to tell me the truth. So his wife should be sitting at home telling him, that's your daddy. You want to go against your dad? Like, I don't know. I'm like, maybe you ain't talked to her. Like, I, mine's would have told him. Man, you better go talk to your daddy, bro. Like, don't do that like that. That ain't cool. That ain't right. Even some whoever riding, running around with you, you got to cut them off now. For real. To come in my house, you got to cut them off. So, man, you know what? The blessed part about this conversation was if your son came to you with honor and respect and asked for forgiveness, you'll forgive him bro, without already, a grudge. I already forgave him without a grudge. I wouldn't be having this conversation. And the, and the truth Think about is, it. and the truth is, I like how you always talk about mental health. Yeah, you always stress and, that. And I, don't, to be honest with you, I don't know if he's dealing with that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I kind of like have a soft spot, an even softer spot in right. my heart for him. Right. Think about it. Right. But 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 you can't talk tough and do all this and don't. Look at the big picture about the family. Family right. over everything that always been there for me. Think for about real. it. Man, I'm, ain't, ain't nobody going to play with my son. And until this day, ain't nobody going to play with him. As long as I'm alive. But you got to be accountable for your mistake. So accountability is what this is. Accountability is what we have to be about. Right. Don't be afraid. I even tell everybody Hold yourself around. accountable. That's it. I right. do. Right. So if I go out here and do something bad, are y'all going to blame my kids for it? No. Y'all going to blame me. Right. And if your kid do something bad, they're going to blame you. Why? So you both get it. But, but no, especially if you're older. If the Bible says if you're over 12, you're accountable for yourself. Facts. And you don't owe no man nothing but love. That's it. So think about everything else is a blessing. It's a blessing. You said that I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm That's alive. it. I can start over. I'm a hustler. Right. All I need is some water. I'm like instant grits. I'm good. Come on here. And we get money. Listen, Lady check money. this out, baby. Lady money. I want to thank everybody for watching. It's always three sides to a story. The hit, the right, the left, and the truth. 
I think today the truth was told. I'm comfortable with that. I want to let y'all know, man, entitlement, entitlement, entitlement. Y'all got to understand, man, we work hard to get what we got. This man is a mogul, a legend. He's a rap Deion Sanders. He's the only person that I know that ever took off a movie uniform, took off a basketball uniform, and went and put up a mic and got on stage the same night. This is Master P. This is a story. I know y'all new Generation X, y'all be want to take sides, but never take the side. Always take the truth. They mad at Deion Sanders right now. Right now, they can't All what he did for the HBCU, put him on the map. Let the man go get his money and take care of his family and do what he got to do. He deserve it. He's right a now. king. Right now. He a king. He the king. And he did more for HBCUs in the last 60 years than yeah. anybody did in three years. Yeah. So you got to take your hat off. And I love HBCU. Think about it. Right. I love them. Right. But we can't be afraid to grow. And like Deion Sanders said, let somebody else take that light and shine now. Right. And he passed it down to the real one. He did. But, but, but you know what? What I don't like, and I'm going to close with this, what I don't like about this generation, they don't respect legends. Yeah. They don't respect people that, like Tupac in this era here, think about that now. Yeah. Think about the people that really paved the way, like yourself, like all these, and, and, and how much disrespect just going on on this internet. Back then, y'all ain't have internet. No. That's why you got respect well, people like Even this situation, right? you ain't had internet if it was back in the day. Me and my son would've went in the back room with it. Nobody would've knew about it. Y'all would've had to talk. Would've had to talk. Think about it. Right. So even the kids gotta stop just jumping, oh, I'm gonna get mad and angry, but you can't, then you wanna take it back. How you wanna take it back when you didn't fade it no. to the world? No. Ain't no get back. But guess what? Overcomes hate. Right. Love. Love. I love my son. I'm going to tell you, son, I love you. I don't know why you did what you did, but you can always come to my house. My door is always open. And we're going to get over this. To be honest with you, I know the world had their fun laughing at us, but think about it. Now that you got to figure out how to transition and take care of your family and hope this don't happen with you. We got to break this generational curse. We gonna break it. Yes, sir. P, I want to thank you, man. I know you got a flight to catch. Yes, God sir. bless you. Yes, sir. Listen, God bless you. Dude. Everybody learned from this. It's a teachable moment. God bless everybody. Man, I want to say one thing before I leave. My home in Bias. I love him so much. We've been around each other so long, right? And he even had to deal with this with his kids. But guess what? When this kid came to me, I was able to say, well, "You know what? Your dad, your dad, against your dad, love you. I would do anything for this man." I would kill for this man because I know the type of man this man is. He stand on principle. That man stand on principle. That man tell me, man, Pete, that's my only man. Sit down. I'm right. sitting down. Right. Because I love him like that. Right. And I done made more bread. Right. Think about it. Right. But he one of the hus greatest hustlers I done been around. And he don't trip on nobody else about their bread. No. That's what real men do, man. Think but about it. We got them umpers out here. Well. But guess what you gotta go to them? And guess, hold up real quick. And we ain't got the porch on the front yard no more. Yeah. See how them people done built them new houses, they yeah. took the porch off? That was yeah. grandma's side with the six pack. Yeah. We go get the game from grandma, auntie. Yeah. Now they moved the porch, yeah. and now they got the internet. This the new porch. Yeah. And where they leading them? They leading them to drill music and drugs. Yeah. Ain't no game out here. Well, like they say, man, and that goddamn gun. The devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. But right. when God got a bigger picture for you, God got a bigger blessing when you're doing the right thing. Right. Think about it. They killed Jesus. They killed Jesus. It's like, that ain't the son of God. He's doing magic. Right. And then his own people with him. Peter and all of them. Mm. Denied the man. So think about it. So I get it. I'm not mad at this because in the Bible say this going to happen. But I never thought it was going to happen to me and my family. So now I gotta get on my knees and pray. I pray for my son. I pray for the rest of my family that they don't allow this because that would that do? Right. That bring them closer together or it break, or break the script. I like what you said about that. That's real. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. so I get that. So like we on a different page, man. We're gonna grow from this and, and hopefully my son get this. Right. And I hope for the people that's out there that's making all this dumb stuff and, and tripping, that y'all sit back and say, before you can take the speck out of my eye. Take the log out of your eye and, mm. and, 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 and ask your family, are y'all dealing with turmoil? Are y'all dealing with disrespect? Are y'all And how do y'all deal with it? So that's why I say this is a teachable moment. See? We, we can't hide this no more. So think about it. Even kids that think they got more than they got, or, or say for you got a basketball. I talked to a mom about this. Her son made it to the league, right? But then her son fell off. But he talked so bad to this lady, but now he need her. Damn. So the NBA only lasts three to four years. That's what the most contracts do. Everybody ain't LeBron James. Everybody ain't Kobe Bryant. Or Steph Curry. 
Think about it. Damn. You never, you know, burn a bridge you gotta cross because you gotta swim back. Yeah. You gotta swim back. Mm -hmm. So I just wanna thank everybody for watching. My main man got a flight to catch. Yeah. I want y'all to learn from, replay this back. Send this to 10 people right now, matter of yeah. fact. I want you to send this to your send family love. Send, send, it send it in love. love. It's send Christmas it love. time, yeah. it's holiday season. Even if you're watching this 9, 2023, yeah. I want you to send this to 10 people so we could try to break the barriers on entitlement and start accepting accountability. And so, start saving families. And start saving families. We gotta save families, man, because without families, we got nothing. We ain't got nothing, man. God bless y'all. We the business.